Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Energeny TV. This is Jenny here. Today, I want to talk about language, specifically the way that we talk about certain issues, specifically certain groups of people. Now, some of you may be familiar with the baseless claims um, about Haitian immigrants in the United States. But for those of you who may not be familiar, let me uh, summarize this issue very quickly. So the current Republican presidential nominee and his running mate have been spreading baseless lies, baseless and vicious and racist lies, that Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, are abducting their neighbors' pets and eating cats and dogs. My first response was disgust. But sadly, I wasn't surprised that these two people were spreading these lies, especially because they were against uh, immigrants. Um, and this dog eating stereotype um, sounded very familiar to me because I remember even in elementary school, um, kids would ask me if my parents um, or if I ate dogs. So, you know, the dog eating stereotype has been used um, against Asian Americans um, for a very long time to belittle them. Um, and so I felt terrible that this was happening to Haitian immigrants in Ohio. Um, and I decided to create this video to emphasize the impact of these words and the sufferings of um, what Haitian immigrants are going through um, even at this moment. So I read a couple of articles that talked about how Haitian immigrants are fearful of walking to the grocery store or going to church or going to school. They've received bomb threats and death threats because of this baseless lie. And I just want us to, you know, take a moment to really put our shoes into their shoes. What would it feel like if we are afraid to go to the grocery store, to go to church, to go to school because of a lie that someone decided to um, throw out against our community? What makes it okay for one human being to put a group of um, innocent people in such in a such vulnerable place? And what makes it okay for them to make these groups of people to feel like that they are not enough and that they they that they should be ashamed of their identity and their culture. So I really want us to take this uh, to take this issue and think about the impact of words, not only of politicians, but even for us as ordinary citizens, as ordinary people in our individual communities, and what we can do to debunk these lies and to push against these false claims that try to um, that try to target these vulnerable populations. Um, so I really want to take this opportunity to read you um, an excerpt from Senator um, Raphael Warnock's speech um, where he connects what we learned from the pandemic to our roles as um, in, in our to our roles in our individual communities. So yes, I found it. Here's the quote. A contagious airborne disease means that I have a personal stake in the health of my neighbor. If she's sick, I may get sick also. Her health care is good for my health. I'm just trying to tell you that we are as close in our humanity as a cough. I need my children's, I need, I need my neighbor's children to be okay so that my children will be okay. I need all of my neighbor's children to be okay. And he, and he continues on with his speech. But I think this is uh, an extraordinary lesson that we can take from this idea, the concept that we are not just, you know, individual beings just living in isolation, right? We are part of our community and we are partially responsible for the well-being of others. And that in turn, um, allows me to be to be happy, to be peaceful, um, and to live in peace and happiness. And so I think 
that is the idea that I wanted to share through this video um, is that we have a responsibility in our individual communities to really push back against these false claims that try to divide us. Um, and we have a responsibility to really care for another um, and really believe in the idea that we are responsible um, for the well-being of others. So um, I hope this conversation sparks more conversations about this issue. Um, and uh, I want to thank you guys for listening and watching this video today.